the first thing that I found is so helpful in finding the path with heart is relaxing into the present moment. So many of us spend our days in the past or in the future thinking about what was, thinking about the stories that we tell ourselves about who we are and how we have to be and what we're capable of and what we're not capable of. And none of those stories really tell us about this moment and the next step that we need to take in this moment. Nor do any of our grand futures and our plans and our fantasies, none of those really tell us about this moment. They tell us about someday where we might be, whether it's a fearsome future or a wonderful future. So to find the path with heart, to find our inner compass, we need to come back and relax into this moment and find a basic trust that we have what we need in this moment, that we're okay, we're safe, we're supported. The second thing I found is incredibly helpful is to begin listening to the questions that we ask and really feeling how our questions make ourselves feel. Because if we really listen to our questions, we'll find that most of our questions aren't questions at all. They're doubts, they're fears, they're judgments, they're filled with assumptions. And if we ask those kind of questions, our answers are going to be filled with doubt and fear and judgment. They're going to be filled with guilt and shame and a sense of limitation and lack. And so listening to the questions we ask ourselves, feeling how it feels in the body when we ask that question. And if any question doesn't open us up or bring us alive, throw it away completely because no answer we get from that question is going to serve us. So the third thing that I teach people to do is to ask only questions that really open you up, that inspire you, that bring you alive, that make you feel more connected and passionate about your life. And finding those kind of questions is an art form, but it's one of the most important art forms that we can find, that we can master. The next step that I teach people about finding their inner compass uh, and the path with heart that it leads them on is not to answer your questions. Because any answer you come up with to your own questions is going to come from your answers from the past and your stories about who you are and how you are and what you should be and the expectations and assumptions that run your life. So I invite people to ask the question that brings them alive and then be silent and not answer from the mind, not look up the answers from teachers or gurus or books but to really listen deep inside until something answers that feels new and unexpected and surprising, that leads you to a new place, something that makes you tremble a little bit, that takes you right to the edge of the unknown and leaves you there, just wondering. And I find if we don't answer the questions that we ask ourselves and let life answer, let our bodies answer, let dreams, synchronicities, let these things do the answering. In order to do this, though, we also have to, two other things I find really helpful is we have to accept what we don't know and stop focusing on it. So many of us get tied up in we, what we don't know. How is it going to look? How is it going to cost? How am I going to do it? Who's going to support me? Where is it going to lead? We get caught up in what we don't know and we obsess about what we don't know which sort of hems us in and we're afraid to take another step forward until we have figured out what we don't know. But if we accept what we don't know and just let go of it and say, I don't know this and I don't need to know this because if I needed to know it, I would know it. And instead we ask ourselves, what do I already know in this moment? What's really true for me? And if we can be honest with ourselves about we, what we already know, we already know a lot more than we admit, want to admit. We know a lot of things, in fact, we're afraid to know. A lot of the hardest decisions in my life that I've had to make, I spent a long time focusing on what I didn't know because what I didn't know scared me. And when I had the courage to admit what I truly did know, I was able to take the next step, to take the action. The next step that I teach people to use in finding the inner compass and walking the path with heart is to find clear, loving mirrors. People who are also willing to admit they don't know and to sit in the not knowing and to ask open, honest questions, not questions that are designed to lead you to what they think you should do. 
not people who are going to give you their experience or give you answers, their answers, but people who are willing to hold a space for your not knowing and also to reflect what they hear you really do know. Because it is, can be a scary thing to admit we actually know a lot more about our lives and what we truly need to do and our deepest truth than we ever thought we did. The final step I find is so important in walking the path with heart uh, is taking the step that we're ready to take. Taking the step you know to take next and not worrying about what comes after that. It's a lot like rock climbing, that when you're rock climbing, you may not know your way up the cliff the whole way, but you can see the next handhold, the next foothold, and it's only when you lift yourself up on that handhold or foothold that you see the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. And as much as we would like to have the map and know the whole course, it's only when we accept what we do know and take the action, have the faith, and the trust in ourselves and our own knowing to take the next step, that that step shows us the next one and the next one and it unfolds. So I hope that these tips I found on finding the inner compass uh, and walking the path with heart, moving from bracing against life uh, to living in a state of grace, I hope they've been helpful for you. And if you would like any more support in using these, applying them in your life, learning the art of each of these steps, I encourage you to contact me personally to do coaching work with me or just have a great conversation or come to the Men's Inner Compass Workshop that'll be at Kirkridge Retreat Center in April from the 27th to the 29th. Thank you and have a great day.